Um, part of my job is to listen to community feedback and keep an ear to the ground about what's happening in our city, but also in our school district. Um, and what came to my attention this last couple of days was this sign here that's behind me um, recognizing the old name of the school. The school has since been renamed uh, La Col Belang. Uh, it's an elementary school here. And so uh, some parents and an article in the paper also informed me that uh, there's some pretty historical wrongdoings associated with this person um, that require us to take the sign down and not to um, allow it to have any more credit than it already has gotten. So what I've done is taken feedback, drafted a motion based on what the parents have already been talking about. Um, and so that is to have the sign immediately removed. Um, that motion will come up next Wednesday at a committee meeting for discussion. Um, and then it will uh, hopefully make it to the board meeting on the 24th for a vote, uh, further dialogue and discussion, and then a vote uh, on behalf of the board. So Cecil John Rhodes was a uh a part of the British Empire and very much an instrument of the empire who held beliefs of uh, British superiority. Uh, interestingly, uh, in South Africa, the, the Afrikaners, the Dutch settlers, were the first to object to Cecil John Rhodes' statue being put up at the University of Cape Town back in the 1950s because of the, the violence and aggression that he displayed and the superiority that he believed British to have over Afrikaners and Dutch settlers. And whenever we have names, whenever we have signs, they're not just names and signs, but they are signifiers of who we give credit to, who we give value to, who we celebrate as a community and as a society. So having Cecil John Rhodes' name attached to scholarships, attached to buildings, attached to schools is very disturbing. I think some people uh, will consider the fact that he donated a lot of money, but if you think about the amount of extraction that he was responsible for, the amount that he donated is not even a fraction or worth consideration uh, in the overall impact, negative impact that he had across the world. The fact that the name has been changed and like the statue still exists shows like this is systemic. It's not like, I don't think it's an accident. I don't think it, it resonates with the school story in general. And like for most people, you just pass by it. Like we don't like do research about it, but like for the people who does, this is a really offensive, pretty much slap on the face pretty much. And for children, like the message that's, in, that's this is sending us like that, that's a role model, right? When you, when you, when you see a person like as bold as this writing and as presence and like as upfront that it is, like it's not sending the right the right message to children.